Kia and welcome to Tarmac. Today we've got Volkswagen's big grand California. It's Volkswagen's combi concept taken to a much bigger level. And it's a job that's so big that I've actually roped my family into uh, helping me out for the review. We're going to head north up to the Cowrie coast and we're going to see what adventures we can get into along the way. Plenty to see, plenty to do and I think that this Grand California is going to be right up to the task. Come along with me now. <laughs> Combi van has been a stalwart of the Volkswagen family since ah forever. I mean, certainly since the 1950s. And this new Grand California is is basically can trace its roots back to there. Obviously, it's bigger, and you know, honestly, I think it's much better. I mean, it's the other one's really good, and the California's good, and the Combi van's good, but this serves a massive purpose. And massive is is actually the uh, the name of the day because we've got the 600, which is the sort of family wagon, which has got the uh, bed at the bottom and the bed at the top, but certainly enough for a, for a family of four. And there is a 680, which is more for your sort of, I don't know, just your couples who really want to get away. But getting away is what we're doing. But before we do that, let's take a look around this big van. I've already shown you the swivel chairs, which are obviously cool, and they go to uh, both, actually both of the front sh chairs swivel around. But what happened on the old California and stuff like that is that the handbrake just down here used to have to drop it down to, uh, to basically swivel the chairs around. Volkswagen have corrected that with this one, and it's now Porsche-like. So you just lift it up and it automatically drops down and gives you plenty of freedom to move this around. And it comes with dual armrest. Very cool. The dashboard itself uh, is actually probably a little bit dated. Um, it's certainly got everything you need on it, but nowadays I've just been with the Multivan 6.1 and that's got the digital screens on it. And I think this is what that's where this one will go very soon. Looking further on, you've got the start stop, auto start stop down there, but also there's a little button under here and that one, push it when you push that, Whereas when you reverse, this makes the big, I don't know, commercial beep beep noises, that switches it off. So if you're entering into a campsite, you can switch that off and not annoy the neighbours if you're arriving up late. Top bunk up here, plenty of room and plenty of features here. Quick button push here, out it flops and look at that, heaps of room. Skylights wise, you've got one up there and it actually has a bug and a nighttime mode so basically you can pull it across and leave it uh, you can leave the skyline open and make sure that there's most no bugs coming in or you can pull it across and black it out i mean if you if you're above six foot i think you're going to squeeze in here but i'm not and i didn't so it's actually enough room for two and i don't know it's roomy enough spacious enough the fridge is large enough to take enough food to feed a family of three for a good couple of days. There's food, drink, spaghetti of course, bacon, and even some ice cream. Awesome. You can cook here too and make the all-important coffee. Need more room? Push that up. There's your chopping board. Also, down the other end, just that extra bit, and everyone needs that extra bit. The drawers are easy close, so soft close, click in. Here's some of your gas features there. Again, more soft closing areas. It's very, very smooth. Yes, my friends, this has a shower. and a toilet. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to use the toilet. Apparently us journalists talk enough bull so they don't want to actually clear it up as well. I think it's a good call. I wouldn't want to do that either. But the shower works. Actually, certainly my son showered very well with it. Um, I personally would find it slightly claustrophobic, but you know, it will probably serve a purpose if you are out and needing that shower. 
I think I do need a shower. The screen here is full of little jiggery poos so when you're in camping mode you sit there and that makes sure that your seat down the bottom stays where it is you've got water temperatures you've got uh, the lights you can have everything from ambient external internal the whole thing's going on here you've got ambient lights which turns the inside light blue battery levels basically your complete control panel for everything you need certainly to do with water temperatures lights and um, keeping the step out which is cool another cool feature you want to get the inside outside flow going on but you don't want to have any pesky mozzies or anything inside just pull the screens across so you still get plenty of inside outside flow but no mozzies can get in which is awesome and also if you want some power out here there's usb ports and wall sockets all over the place but the wall sockets you can only use when you're plugged into mains power there you go under the back here is where the lpg bottles hide they're in there and some cutoff valves very cool and also more storage <laughs> I told you there's storage everywhere god damn it the awning comes out at the side which I'll show you in a minute but also up here right up there is where the winder fits I'll tell you everything in its place there's also chairs <laughs> and a table <laughs> you really can live the life of luxury around here very awesome. So that's the brief tour. Best we got loaded and hit the road. Then there's the way this drives. I mean, it really, I mean, it's a big bus. There's no mistaking, it's a big bus. Uh, there's two versions, there's a 600, the 680. This is the 600 and I don't know, the drivetrain seems to pull well. The four motion means that you're not worried about going virtually anywhere. I have been told not to go off, off road. <laughs> they spoil all the fun sometimes. Anyway, the, the steering feels positive, even around these tight bends that we're just going into now it's it feels like it's moving feels like it's going well also we don't hold up any traffic I mean I don't know what happens with other camper vans but this thing just seems to run nicely and really smoothly gets into travel figures very easily accelerates well doesn't worry about um, hills I don't know it's just a really really nice drive really comfortable and apparently even though it's three meters tall there's a function that makes sure that it doesn't get blown around in the wind so you're not constantly trying to battle against it it's doing it all automatically <laughs> very very cool it's a very easy easy truck to to navigate around even in the tighter of spaces there's plenty of sensors visibility is massive 
comfort's good, the armrests are great for the long rides which you're going to be doing in this. Ah, all round just a top, top van. Well, that was an adventure. We've been up north, we've seen big trees, we've seen glowworms, we've seen eels, we've been to the beach, we've been to the Great Lakes. Ah, so much to do. And this combi van has really been up to the job. It's a, I don't know, California in a grand, grand scale. It really does have, I don't know, everything you can think of, including the kitchen sink and the bathroom sink. <laughs> Love it. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. It's somewhere along here and uh, See you along for the next one